This is the Tech Phantom and I wanted to give you a brief tutorial on how to cut Calamite's tail and the reason you'd want to do that is because of this awesome weapon. This is the Obsidian Greatsword and it is your price and your reward if you are able to achieve one of the trickiest feats in Dark Souls and that is to cut Calamite's tail. Now why would you want the Obsidian Greatsword and why is it that From Software gave us this awesome weapon but made it um, very tricky and made it a very very rewarding um, price if you're able to get the tail cut. Well the reason you, this is a great weapon and you definitely want it in your arsenal is because at only 20 strength and 16 dexterity it does a whopping 480 physical damage when it's maxed out with Dragon Scale. So, for builds where you don't want to spend a lot on strength or dexterity, this is an absolute beast of a weapon. Not only that, but it also can be enchanted, so it's excellent for faith or intelligence builds. And finally, it has a very, very cool AoE two-handed strong attack which can come in handy if your opponent is a little bit far away from you and you want to deliver the killing blow from a safe distance. Alright, so Calamite gives you three chances to cut his tail. The, easy, the best chance is when he does a tail stomp where he will leave his tail exposed for about a second and you have the ability to take one or two hits at it. Unfortunately, the tail stomp is very, very tricky uh, uh, animation to get. You need to get him to fly over you, then you need to stand underneath his tail, just to the right, and then you need to um, dodge the tail stomp, break the uh, lock on, and then take a couple of swipes at it. So if you're going to wait for that animation to happen, it's going to take you a very, very long time. And that's what I was doing, and I was starting to get frustrated. So I thought I would start to do a little bit of experimentation and come up with a more effective way to get ahead of tail. And this is the way that I've come up with, guys, and it normally takes me no more than four to five minutes, and I'm able to get the tail um, when I'm soloing, soloing Calamite. And you can actually do the same method if you are online playing co-op and it's actually a little bit easier uh, in co-op. Some things that will help for this method are to use a build that has fast roll. You also want a shield that has high stability. I'm using the crest shield. It's maxed out. Its stability is at 66, but you can use other shields that are even more stable and that will that will give you a little bit more uh, defense and you want to for the most part have your shield up at all times. The third thing is that and this is one of the most important things you want a very strong weapon you want a weapon that will do at least 400 physical damage but the more the better and the absolute key to the tail cut is that you need a weapon that has a vertical hitbox on the two-handed running attack. So that's why I like to use the halberds. I think the uh, the great hammers work as well, but I tend to like halberds. So if you use any of the halberds, they all happen to have a vertical hitbox, as you can see here on the two-handed running attack. And if you have fast roll, if you can move quickly, um, Calamite will give you a couple of additional opportunities to cut his tail. So he has two sit-up attacks. The first sit-up attack, he will spew dark magic at you. And uh, if you're able to evade, break lock on, and run around him, you should be able to get to his tail. The other attack, which gives you a little bit uh, more time to get to his tail, is when he stands up and he tries to put his calamity curse on you. And as you've seen, I haven't been able to get the animation where he does the tail stomp, but I have been able to get the animation on the on both sit-up attacks about five or six times. So if you uh, again have a halberd or have a weapon, a strong weapon with a vertical hitbox, you should be able to have multiple opportunities to get at his tail. And here's the tail cut. Um, so you saw that having that vertical hit ability 
with the two-handed running attack is absolute key. Um, you should be able to get the tail cut after two hits with this method. And if you happen to hit to get the animation for the uh, tail stomp, then that's even better. You might even be able to get it quicker. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope that some of you actually make builds specifically tailored to the Obsidian Greatsword. I think it's definitely worth it. And I think now that, that uh, you have some hints from me on how to get the tail cut, hopefully it uh, you'll be able to uh, experiment with the Obsidian Sword and with some builds built uh, around using it. And I think you're going to have a lot of fun. It is uh, one of my favorite weapons now. And like I said, it does a ton of damage and it does free you up to use skill points for, uh, uh, for your build to go into other stats. This is the Tech Phantom signing off.